That's the only part we know. That's the only part we know. Where is it from? Speaking of singing, Small one I didn't see Amber oh, singing God. yesterday at Your Night Down. You, she sings. Okay. She didn't guys, sing so yesterday. Normally, I'm, I have a lip sync concert going on, but yesterday I decided I wanted to battle and dance. So, um, And you know what? Bravo to you. I forgot I forgot that Amber is a fucking phenomenal dancer. Oh, dude. Amazing, Honestly, amazing dancer. She looked like J-Lo. <laughs> let, like a fly girl. Hey, she let it be known right now. Let it be known right now. <laughs> That she could fucking dance. Oh no, honestly, boy, she could. She dance. She could dance if she wants to, and she could leave her friends behind. Yes, but if you don't dance, <laughs> you don't dance. Hey, you ain't she no could walk behind. like an Egyptian. Walk like an Egyptian. Yeah. No, honestly, like you got down. You got, oh, you're not down, but you were down. You were down. You, you were guys, down. I was battling um, the dancer. The dancer. Yes, John. I was battling the dancer. His name's the dancer. The dancer. We're we'll calling John, John ever again. Oh yeah, That's I was rude. battling yeah. the dancer. Yeah. With a drink in my hand, and I didn't even didn't drop even my drink. Jump. No, you didn't. I forgot, like, you were like a raver, like, dude. Yeah, like, I was literally battling. I couldn't li- lip sync. Dude, there was I, people that wanted to jump in the circle, but after you went there, like, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> I'm not doing that, yay. And then how about my practiced. mom? My mom was dancing, you Oh, guys? We, we wanted to bring up your mom. Can we say what Sammy Sam chocolate? said about your mom? No, we won't say that. But I'm going to tell you right now. Mod. Hey, I know. You stick to typing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Who did the mod talk? <laughs> your, your mom? Looked, the mom or mod? No, your, your mom. Your mom oh, looked mom. amazing. Like, she, when the people were like, oh, that's Am's mom, I was Dude, like, Dude, like, hey, mother, one another? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I was right? like, hey, what are we doing for Christmas? <laughs> Guys, Unwrap this. You guys, it was it was a good time. It was a good time. Yeah. I had a blast. Oh, there, yeah. there Everyone was... Google Am's mom because she looked amazing. They want to know. They want to know what she looks like. Now Just they're type in Am's Angie, mom. And she posted it on her Instagram. She okay. posted yeah, so go on Instagram. Can we say this, guys? Even though it was an amazing fucking time, shout out to everybody we met. There was some drama that happened yeah. at You're Not Down. Shout out to It's Nessa. To all the Vanessas. To all the Vanessas all there. Vanessa. Shout you out to all the Vanessas. Speak, if your name's Vanessa, we Don't go. Hey, the next You're Not Down, and you say no Vanessa's no allowed. Vanessa's no allowed. fucking Vanessa's. Yeah. No, except the Nessa. Nessa. Nessa no, no Nessa. No. Nessa for Ball Park. Yeah. I think she's she's in here right now. Matter of fact. Yeah. I think if Nessa, you're, if what's you, up? If you have anything with the uh, there she is. If your name Nessa. is with the uh, Nessa three you're six. You're not allowed. That's her Nessa. Yeah, Nessa's that's, cool as fuck, bro. Nah, like nah, that's shout to. She's not but Nessa. She's Nessa. Yeah, she's it's different. Nessa. But if you're like with the va, you can't go. Yeah, va means violence. So what happened? Because the the last thing. I mean, I don't want to get too deep into it, but somebody said they were like. Someone being your boyfriend, you're not, you're seeing, like, you don't have a boyfriend, he wasn't there, but some girl said, oh, I'm sorry, disrespect, Amherst says, I don't know, that was her dude. He, he was, he was, he was sick at home. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened, honestly, I don't know how I got into the mix of it, but it had nothing to do with me, none of it had anything nothing to do with Nothing at me. all. I was like, wait, what, what just happened? Nothing to do with me, but somehow my name was put into it, I had no idea, I was just minding my own business, raving, some, battling, Some dancing. girl DM me today. And she goes, hey, can you tell Am my apologies? I don't know that was her man. I was like, what is this chick talking about? So I hit up my other friend and I was like, can you tell her that is not my man? First of all, like, I don't even know what happened. And, you, and you're not even flirtatious with anybody there. Like, you're, you're like, you're a more. I'm in my own. My yeah, own business. you're La La Land. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Literally so in my how, own like, world. So all those girls, there's some weird chicks there. You know, some weird chicks. But it was, I always have a blast there, dude. Yeah, I stood there really late time. after, which is like 10 30 because it closed like at 9. So I was there and I was just there. I go, everybody's leaving. It was just me, like in a waitress, bartender girl, just talking. And like, the janitor, you're right. Yes, yeah, bro. The I'm not putting up the he's chairs. Doing, he's finishing the math problems on the board. <laughs> okay, wait, I have a question. What movie's that, guys? I have a question. Get a hat. First of all, no, it's an easy hat question. How about, the, how about those chicks that showed up for 10 minutes that you gave a wristband to and then they. Oh! Were- I wasn't going to bring it up. Hey. So I'm right there with no wristband the whole fucking time. And Brian didn't have a wristband. Hey, let it be known. I'm VIP as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even pay for parking. And I see how Rocky was like, you know what? I'm not even going to wear a wristband. It's kind of boring back there. I didn't get one. And I'm like, yeah, it is boring. Like, I don't don't care. I don't need a wristband. Let it be known he was stashing like eight of them in his pocket the whole fucking time. Listen. Yeah, right? They gave me. Yes, you guys. They're supposed to give me six. I'm like, all right, everybody, let's go in the back. And they're like, I'm getting kicked out. I don't have a wristband. I'm like, how the fuck don't you guys have wristbands? Yeah, they were trying to Rocky kick out Brian. Rocky had all the wristbands. Come to find out, Rocky wanted to give the wristbands. <laughs> some, some chick show up like they are going to they penthouse. They came from Denver. <laughs> they came from Denver. It's like they are going to penthouse in the no, laundry. Hey, oh, okay, I should have <laughs> warned them. They were still Well, first of all. They had a little Gucci. <laughs> what? One had a little fox coat. Like, 
Wow. One was made of mink. It like, was so hot yesterday too. She had a little fox and like a little mink jacket. Oh. You guys, you guys She's like, where do I check in my coat? I'm like, what? <laughs> she was so, like, my bag. I should have warned guys, them. It wasn't that kind of for, crowd. They were there for 10 minutes and then they left. It was like, With the wristbands. Big gulps, huh? And I was even like, See you later. And I was even like, hey, should we get those wristbands back? Like, <laughs> you like hey, but I should it, I should have warned them. It wasn't that kind of club. They came out like fucking. They're ready to go like, to the playoffs for sure. But yeah, shout out to um, deep down the way, matter of fact. So, <laughs> <laughs> so well, they're in town, you know. So yeah. they, they, I met them in Denver last week. Shout out podcast listener and so on and so on. So yeah, they're yeah, cool, no, no, man. Yeah. yeah, they're cool people. But just next time, just don't hide the wristbands from us. What kind of want to make sure to get in? Me and Brian were all fucking. We couldn't but even they, get they in. They were the... all getting kicked out of the back. Me and Brian couldn't even. Can go we in say the bathroom? Oh, and then I didn't really know. I know. I know. We went live on Twitch like in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, I didn't rule that Brian was um, going live at nighttime yeah. whenever he was fucked up. Oh, yeah. So I woke in the morning and I go, Including Brian. Hey. Including Brian. No, yes. Yeah. This fool. Let that be known. Let that be known. <laughs> Let that be known. Hey, bud, check it out. So I woke in the morning and usually me and I always had these conversations like the next day. Oh, my God. I don't even want to look at IG stories. Yeah, I made always a, like But IG. it was cool. It was cool. But people, people that were there that shouldn't have been there. They were uh, they didn't they didn't know we were recording and they're on they're all hey um you, I wasn't supposed to be there <laughs> I'm on your IG live Twitch I was all fucking Brian <laughs> Brian hey Brian burned everyone he burned he everybody fun, out bro. he didn't know he had a smoking yeah. everybody and the it's thing is that by this time everybody's all better already and all fucked up like fuck like, yeah, no one's yeah. hiding from Brian <laughs> he's dancing with girls guys it didn't matter so I'm. <laughs> He's spinning all these hey. girls, promising them hats. Wait, go, you, okay, can we get into that? Because I see people in the chat rooms, they want hats for Brian. Who, Brian, Brian, what are you saying? I need to know what Brian was what, telling hey, people. If Brian promises, promised you a hat, Brian, come here, put a 69 if Brian promised can, can, you a hat. Can you get Brian on mic real fast? Brian, can you go over here fast, please? Huh? Real fast, come here. Get over here, Brian. You can leave your shirt on, it's fine. Leave your shirt on. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Anyway, this is a fucking amazing Brian. We love yeah. on the show, by the yeah. way. And, and okay. you know what? So many people were like, hey, where's Brian? I'm like, Dick, he's right here. Yeah. I, <laughs> yes. That was Brian. That. He's right here. Like, so, Brian, you, we, uh, we, we are getting info that you were promising a lot of fucking so chicks I promised, hats. No, I promised one hat to one person who ever got... Whoever got the number, because I was spinning girls around, because they. Like, what? It was so, it was so hard to find you guys. Take me to the spinning part. Okay, Take the so spinning like, part. Because it gets them yeah. It's not. Nice. No, no, no. Oh. It was just like so hard to find you guys, and you guys, nice. you know. So I was just trying was to keep it active. Wait, what was hard? To find you guys. Oh. <laughs> it was so scattered. Dude, so. So he just took one took it. He Look at Brian trying to give me a hickey. Wow, wow. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Dude, is that getting true? Brian's getting true. That's a homie, homie. That is homie. Brian was grabbing girls' asses. Swear. That is not true. That was not true. That Brian, was the so dancing. It, take to the spinning thing, please. Yeah. And, and ha, I, I well, need to hear your story. Like, whoever got, whoever got uh, the number of girls that I spun by the end of the night, I was going to give I them one. You made the weirdest yeah. rules. He was making what? rules and games yeah. up. Yeah. It was just like, You're not in terms of hats ever again. There's a lot of people that are like, Brian, like talking good. about you, Brian. Brian I know it was. How is it just one person? It's everybody. I asked him about it. Hey, but you guys have fun though, right? They were enjoying the live. They liked it. a picture of me. Brian, you're being a creep. Brian, I remember, Brian was touched I? 15 girls. Wacko, you let around. Brian by himself? Hey, Rick was like, <laughs> it was Brian like that. was grabbing girls' asses. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> no, because Brian will grab guys' asses too. I can't. Thanks, Brian. He for was coming like, yeah. Anyway, yeah. 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 Get everybody um, in trouble. Listen, Thank you, Oscar, but we are giving a free hat at the end of the show, so pay attention because Big Al or Mod is going to come with a great question at the end of the night yeah. and you can win a hat. Brian and we're actually give, we're going to give you the hat. Now, hey, Brian, we're being honest. You didn't get that fucking hat. Uh, sorry about Brian. He never gets out. He's really horny. Yeah. And like, no, really, it, it was like letting your dog out that's been fucking horny yes. forever, and he got out. Yeah. We have an amazing fucking guest today. I'm we really excited. Yeah. We've seen him at the Bray Improv along with Momo. And this guy, you know, I met him before. He came with Momo before, and he was kind of quiet, and he wasn't. And I, when he went out, I said, go, hold on. This guy's a fucking comedian. Dude, yeah. yeah. We and and he let it. We were all surprised. Yes. We were like, wait a minute. Did, Yes. And then amazing kisser. Like he's fuck. It's a trip. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to give my hat. Hey, no. Yeah, had to, no, no hat in, involved. <laughs> no, no, hey. And it's Manny Maldonado. He's Manny. You can't just fucking call him Manny. You can't say Manny. You gotta it's call him Manny fucking Manny Maldonado. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's all ready to get up. Hold on, you're not coming out <laughs> yet, bro. Hold on, where you going? Hey, we man. didn't call you. Yeah. So Brian said he's gonna give me a hat in the bathroom. <laughs> 
So, you're not down with a fucking Maisie. Yeah, you have another story about you're not down? Ah. Uh, Hold on, let me I think. really don't. I, huh? I don't think I do. Let me think. I mean, it was, like, it was like, I honestly just have a good time. <laughs> shut the fuck up, fool. I know. Fuck up, fool. No, I had a blast. I always have a blast there. Yeah. It's amazing. Hey, Angie oh. B. Shout out to Angie B. For letting us even Take fuck with again. that event, bro. That yeah. was really cool. I'm not going to the next one at all. Oh, well, we're recording for sure. Lord. I'm missing next month. So. Your period, probably. No, 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 What's up, everybody? Welcome to Octane Motorsports, our new sponsor. It's summertime. It's time to get dirty. I'm wet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Either one, it's your choice. Come to Octane Motorsports. They'll take care of you. They're the best rentals. Yeah, area. whatever you need. Me and Rock, we're just on the jet skis right now. Um, we're about to take the team out in a couple weeks. But if you guys need anything, don't forget to follow Octane Motorsports right here in Pomona, our new sponsor, Street Scholars. Me and Rock are about to go get wet and dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we are back. Hey, let's welcome Manny Maldonado. Hey. Did I get that right? Ooh, yes, you ooh, did. Yeah. Way to exaggerate that last name. Uh, well, I, for it's, you. It's an honor to be here. Street Scholars, man. Uh, thank you for having me, man. No, yes. man. Thanks for coming thank on. You for ha Honestly, thank you for coming on early because I know we were planning for September, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. so then I, hit, I, reached out to, I reached out to G Money and I said I could do August and. Yeah, just wanted to hear about your guys' crazy yes. shenanigans on uh, Sunday. You got to come to the next <laughs> You're Not Down. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down, damn it. It would be badass to see you and Momo jo yeah, jump in know, the fucking dance circle. For, for those people that don't know, Momo and I, we, we come in pairs now. So No, ooh, definitely. We it's, like, together now. it's like Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the brain? <laughs> Well, we that, that, yeah, we'll talk about that another huh. time. But we're both <laughs> no, smart. it's an interview. We're gonna talk about it right now. <laughs> no, what do you another mean? Time. Another no. part two. Now here's the thing. No, we're we're both uh, having a good time right now. We're doing a lot of great comedy shows, and we're just all over the place. We've been uh, hitting the mics all this uh, since Wednesday, and now we're here on Monday. And, yeah, uh, I see you. Yeah. You've been, I, I, I follow you on your Instagram. You yeah. guys are fucking busy. Like, you're just going hitting yeah, show every club. Show. Well, let's let it be known yeah. right now. Manny, for those of you that don't know, he's a, he's a stand up comedian, fucking super fucking funny, does badass impressions. Um, I don't know what, what else do you do besides model and comedy. No, that's it. No, I'm, just, I'm a normal person. That's all I do is stand up and I, I write. So, he lays I down, creates. though. Uh, Momo and I are, are writing some stuff together right now, and we're about to. You don't do voiceovers at all. I, people have been telling me to do that for a while, but I just, you know, I, re, I believe it or not, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like chill off stage. But yeah. when I'm on stage, it's, I, I turn into somebody else. Obviously, you do the you best. Do. You do the best, yeah, Bernie. Honestly, I do, do it, the best, Bernie. You know, I can't be laughing like Amaris all day. <laughs> I can't do that all the whole time, Bernie. But uh, Bernie Mac. Yeah, I do all kinds oh, of voices. Oh, you do a good Bernie Mac and. I do voices. I, I do random things. You know, uh, I can do Popeye. People always want Popeye. 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 We're not talking about Popeye and Brutus. No, we're, we're talking about Popeye for all Latino friends out there. Blood in, blood out. Hell yeah. Suave. This is how we do it. <laughs> Here on Street Scholars, bitch. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit was hilarious. Dude, Amber's got so horny right now when you did that. Oh, oh. Amber, like, smile now. Cry later. I see you. <laughs> Nice titties you have on, Mika. <laughs> Give everybody their choncho like right now. <laughs> Are you down or not? Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's a clip how right there. How long have you been uh, doing so comedy? Like, how uh, long have you been doing I don't know, probably like 18 days. No, uh, <laughs> no, I've been doing it for 22 years. Uh, I love it. And it's funny because uh, Momo's been in the game for about 16. But I remember when Momo first started. And, uh, you know, comedy's so... I, we're having more fun now. Like I would say, the last, I've been having more fun the last three or four years doing stand up, and I'm still learning something every single time I hit the stage. And I love it, man. And right now, people need to laugh their ass off because we've been, as a country, we've been through a lot of shit. Honestly, oh, yeah. Yes. You know, I got people arguing after the show now whether to wear a mask or not. I'm like, fuck, you're a grown ass motherfucking person. 
You want to wear the mask or not? Like, I don't know, fucking shit. You know, it's just, <laughs> just weird times right now, man. It is. It is. Were you it's always like a class clown? No, man. You know, it's, you, it, you seem quiet in person. No, because yeah. uh, growing up, uh, I'm from Northern California. I'm from a city called Modesto, through okay. and through. Oh, and, the E40? Uh, no, the E40 is from the 707. Uh, uh, E40 is from the 707, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My, my partner's out of my saha. That's E40, in case anybody wants to look that shit up. Uh, he's from, uh, I want to say he's... Uh, Vallejo. V-Town, Vallejo. Yeah. Yeah, so 707. But it's funny that you mentioned E-40. I remember doing stand-up when I first started doing stand-up shows, and I do a lot of shows in the Bay Area. And uh, Mac Dreezy used to come to a lot of my shows. Mac Dre. Wow. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah rest in peace. So I was a part of all that hyphy movement. You know, tell me where to go, all that kind uh-huh. of shit. Did you so, ghost ride the whip? Can you show, all the can you show whip, your stanky leg? What's up? The can you show your stanky leg? Face. Oh. oh. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. Like, here's my one eye fist face. Like, <laughs> that's it. You know? uh, no, but here's the thing. Uh, stand-up is, is so addicting right now. There's a lot of people trying to do stand-up, but it's not for everybody. A lot yeah. of motherfuckers think they're funny. But being on stage, not. it's just a whole different world. Right. It's way different because, especially now with Instagram, social media, a lot of people do like the little skits, which is cool. Which is great. No, and you know it's, what? it's a different ball game, though, right? It's a different ball game. And listen, I don't. I'm not knocking any of the yeah. of the Instagram people. I think they're great. I think they're funny. Uh, I don't have that many followers. I have like maybe three thousand. But the difference is, I know every one of those motherfuckers. I know their addresses, their phone numbers, and everything. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not, uh, the thing is this: it's it's funny's funny. I mean, right now, a lot of people love the videos on the Instagram and all that stuff. But I'm just. Uh, we're we're through and through. We're I, I'm a stand up. That's what I do. Do you think it's cheesy? Like some of those videos and skits. Yeah. Some of them are oh, not yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah it's I, weird. I, I awkward. It. It some are awkward. awkward. Like oh my god. I'm not like, gonna say, but we've had a guy on here, and some of his, his skits. It's not funny. Ooh. Huh? I know you're talking. It's not funny. Right? <laughs> it's so bad. The long hair guy. <laughs> well, here's the here's it's the, so hold bad. On. What's his name? You're talking, hold on. I think we're talking about talking about Gordo, right? Yeah. Oh, I was talking about the. I'm talking about Mike. I'm talking to her, Mike. This we had a. So he's he's a stand up. He's already fucking funny already. He's a stand up, right? He's funny stand up though. Yeah. I don't know. I see the stand up. But he does a lot of skits. I'm talking about someone else. He does a lot of skits. You're whispering in your mic. His stuff's not that funny to me either. We're not getting guests oh, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are whispering. Never mind. Never mind. Shut the fuck up. No one's gonna want to come on our show. I know. Everybody's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yes. We love her followers. Yes. Anyways, look, no, I love think we're raw. We're real. Yeah. And you know what? Some of these fucking skits are not funny. Don't put a fucking skit and expect just because you have following, people are gonna love it. A lot of them are fucking dumb. Yes, and you know who we're talking true. about? Yes. A lot of the skits he does. If you're a stand up, stick to fucking stand up because yeah. your skits are not fucking funny it's at true. all. I, I like that. You know what I mean? Thank you for standing for standing up for a stand up. Yeah. You know I mean? well, and I feel like a lot of people Got are also guys. taking material from other or people and they're trying to make it funny, but it's, it's not. Cheesy, well, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's cheesy. It's very cheesy. Uh, it's sometimes what uh, some of these people, and, and it's, it's not all of them. It's, I don't know, maybe, I'm not going to do a percentage wise. The main thing is this. 69%, let's to say. Me, it. To me, I feel like stand up is better seen live. Oh, Just by like far. when you saw us live. There's nothing that could take away from that. Yeah. Like you la- you're there, you're on a date, you're out with your friends. You fucking see the shit through and through. Even shit like on TV, it's cool, but if you're there watching it live, it's like a fucking concert. It just yeah, it, it no, just I different. And then we've seen people like they came on our show or mm-hmm. just oh that you have follower. I'm gonna get a podcast going. It yeah. just fails completely because yeah. you have to have some kind of like a personality to do right. this, you know? Because we're amazing. And heart. Yeah, it's easy yeah. to you gotta get, have heart. And too. it's easy like, this to shit get on TikTok, right? And make a video because oh, yeah. it's like a voice. You're, yeah. you're just mocking someone else. And maybe somebody doesn't know <laughs> that where that skit came the last from. One. And then so that person who did the TikTok video is getting credit for the skit. And really it has nothing to do yeah. with them. And they're famous for it. So it's easy to get a million views material. by putting your pee-pee on someone's hand while they're doing <laughs> I got a million in views off that. Oh. I did a stupid TikTok where you I put have, my penis on somebody's view, hand. You have a great future. It's on now. Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> like, how do I get a million views, bro? Mm. But to with answer, this. To, That's all. And it was it was the homies. <laughs> yes. From yesterday. Yeah. Well, big game, James. To answer your question. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry. If I was a class clown, I really I. I, was, <laughs> I know we're fucking four minutes off ago. Of that's that's how ADD we're we are. Way off. I don't give a fuck. We're ADD we like a motherfucker. Everybody. This is ADD. Class street scholars. That's funny. I don't care. Look at ass on that. I'm always like to bounce back and forth. Anyways. Hey. Oh yeah, whatever the thing sounds like. Oh yeah, cool. like though, do it. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. let that be known. Oh, like, so, oh yeah. Class clown. Oh yeah. Hey, can you give me Birdie Mac? Uh, Birdie Mac? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, you're not your squad. Oh, hey, oh, yeah. You're in high school. We're going to go everywhere. Okay, so you're in high, high school. school, sweetheart. No, no, no. I, I, was, uh, I had some other motherfucker that was so damn funny growing up. Uh, I didn't. Uh, when I was in high school, my thing was I wanted to be on ESPN, so I had a sports call, uh, da, da, da. sports communication da, da, da. scholarship. Yeah. Oh, wanted, oh I really? Wanted, I want to do play by play. Are you play. still in the sports? That's good. Oh, I love sports. Me too. I know, and I know you don't be a fucking but, giant no, fan. No, listen, I'm hey, not. That, I'm not. Yeah, I know yeah. you're gonna bust my balls hey, because one day you're like, how come Manny's talking about the Dodgers? Like, calm the fuck down. You always talk no, shit about Dodgers. No, here's the thing. And Lakers. Remember, look, I'm a sports dude. I'm, believe it or not, I'm a you're Mets an fan and A's fan. Like the Mets. Because when I was a kid, Daryl Strawberry, Dwight did Dwight Good and did cocaine. Oh, he had to, yeah. Uh, to me, that was fucking respect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yo. Quick question. Oh, quick, ba- amazing, quick baseball right? question before yeah. you go to your story. Yeah. 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 Do you know why baseball. the Mets are blue and orange? Yeah, because uh, they were the, they, they're combined colors from uh, the Giants. And the Dodgers. Yeah. And the Dodgers. You're good. From Brooklyn and uh, New York. That's a, yeah. that's a fact right there. That's a fact. Yeah. Yep. So look. I'm not, look, all my friends are Dodger fans. Look, respect to the Dodgers, but look, last year's title was 60 games. It's like, to me, it's like a stripper with no pole. I want to see them win the shit full season. So I think they have the great, they have a great team still. Yeah. I still think they're the team to beat. But you know what? You still have to go through a playoff yeah, and a championship, yeah. and they did all that they no did. matter what. So I give it that. So I it, it's kind of like everybody had to wear a mask and shit while hey, they were batting and shit. Hey, <laughs> it's it kind of like it's kind of like well, the playoffs are only. 20 yeah. something games. Like, yeah. no, the, you got to get to the playoffs and you got to win that. They did that whole part, no matter Somebody how long said, the series I'm, was, I'm, right? I'm looking at these comments. I love it. It's so, a fuck, Manny. Oh, you <laughs> got, you know, don't get self conscious. You get caught in him. You get caught in him. wondering if you're going to talk about him next week. It's okay, look. Manny. Look, as comedians, <laughs> we have thick skin. A stand up, yeah, like, you we, it's okay. You can talk shit about well, this. No, we do. The thing is, like, with me, Manny. You about me, Swap. Me, Manny, and Momo, like, we have an off air relationship, so like we really fuck with each other. We do. It's this not is like, all bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like my, my, yes, I don't know yeah, who's out there talking it. about, but look, but this is why I love. This is why I love. This is the difference between somebody, you know, getting their clown on, on, and that's cool. Yeah, get the clown you know, on. This is why I have this joke. It's doing well. I think it's funny. I, I go, I go. When white people get pissed off, they will yelp the fuck out of you. That's okay. what white people do. They just go. Don't home. yelp us though. No, no, but that's what white people do. Like they won't. Because Latinos one? and black people, they, if they have a problem with the manager, like, hey, motherfucker, let me we talk to the manager. Yeah, we got that right now. I want my free. They white want something people, free. White people go home, put on a robe. Oh, oh my tonight, god, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yelp the fuck out of you. Caps lock. But yeah. No. <laughs> Going back, going back to the original question, were you always a class? Oh my God, we're still with that I question. Uh, no, not answer. really. No, I. I, I was you wanted to be a sports guy. I wanted to be a sports guy. Yeah, That's why we're talking about sports. And finish. listen, I'm not knocking the Dodgers. Yes, props to your oh, title. You I just want to see them win it this year. That's all. That's all. I just want to see them. A full season. <laughs> They're gonna win it, Yankee. <laughs> Chill out. Push a button. A full season. So, um, they still have the squad. And that's all I want to so see. So back to you high school. Is that is that when you lost from Virginia in high school or was it after? Oh, no, it was high school. High oh, school. yeah. It was uh, uh, your PE teacher. Let that be known. Uh, I think it was 16 years old. Some girl named Carmen. She fucked a couple shout of Shout out to Carmen. Dudes. Hey, shout out to Carmen. Oh, she's shout on right Carmen. now. Shout out to Carmen. Much love. Ooh. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, imagine. Have you ever had sex with a girl and do the Bernie Mac voice? Like, no, I look, man. No, <laughs> that's, that's, they that's usually do it to me. <laughs> now, that's why I probably get That'd thrown in jail. That'd be hilarious. That'd be, I'm kind of like, what's up, man? Give me some, give me some. You know what I mean? That'd be kind of weird. And then she comes. <laughs> and then she comes. And, that was fucking two fucking minutes. That's two minutes and 38 seconds. Did she wants you to do it all the time and you're like, fucked. No, but you know, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. Comedy is, that's what's cool about comedy. Everybody has their opinion. It's, it's you know, it's an acquired taste. Yeah. Right. To me, I'm not funny for everybody else. That's okay. I know I'm fucking funny. When I'm, when I'm there on, my, on the stage, I do my shit. Yeah. Not everybody's gonna, not everybody's gonna like me. Or not even gonna like my friend Momo, but we're we know we're fucking funny. Why are you throwing Momo in the Why mix? Poor Momo. He's just, no, right he's just chilling in the M&M's like, and like, you're Momo, fucking picking Momo, up. Momo and I did a show last night. It was at Flashbacks in Whittier. Shout out to Flashbacks. And no. we went up there and they had technical difficulties. Not like your guys. All right. Wow. Um, <laughs> you guys are way better. You guys fixed them pretty damn fast. We did, right? No, you did. I like, got AC on. No one's complaining. We're good. No, good. But, Game changer. But look, here's the thing. Like, we were, as comedians, we adapt. Like, sometimes. The fucking sound ain't gonna work, so you know what we do? Sometimes we don't need the microphone. We yeah. we adapt. Our um our mod had the question for you. Yeah. She said, question for guests. Do you think these small IG TikTok sketches can influence your comedy material? Uh for me, no. Because uh, I like to write there you go. <laughs> I like to create <laughs> in my own in my own way. And listen, the, the remember the videos that you see on the Instagram, usually I don't know, sometimes like one minute or two minutes. Because uh-huh. believe it or not, America's patients, they don't wanna they don't wanna sit sometimes and just watch. They want to get the funny like out of the way. So that's yeah. why props to those people that make motherfuckers laugh within a minute. I think that's great. But sometimes the TikTokers and the Instagram people putting them on stage is different yeah. in front of people because you need more well, than that, one fucking minute. Right. 
So, and, and they redo those said. videos over yeah. and over and over again. <laughs> they do. They're, they're, like, well, can, I mean? they're like, this, can you repost me right yeah. now on stage? Can you repost <laughs> yeah. me right now? No, bitch, I need you to make me laugh right now. But it's, it's everybody's uh, different strokes for different folks when it comes yeah. to that kind of stuff. Yeah. I love your beer with, with the whole whole thing. Now it's fucking. I oh, was fucking well, you know, dying, there's, there's always fillers out there. You know, I, th- I do. All, I have all kinds of jokes, but yeah, sometimes when I go out there, are there any hoes in the house? And <laughs> sometimes <laughs> when you say that, I'm got quiet. Yeah. Sometimes once in a while, you can go raise your hand. Like I'm like, Me I'm and Rocky were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was dying laughing because you, when you came, mm-hmm. on, hey! on the show, when you came with Momo, you were so quiet. Hey! Like, hey! You kind of just chilled, right? Oh, yeah. So then, That's a and TikTok. then I'm sitting there, you come on stage, and all of a sudden you're like, where are all the hoes at? And I was like, who is this guy? And then Rocky and, and G Money are like raising their hand, but I was laughing because you were just a completely different person. Well, no, well here's the thing. As, as what I do, and, and, and other you're comedians by the do way. this too, uh, we like to analyze the crowd a little bit, see what we're going to get into. And obviously so the show that you guys went to was an amazing show. My boy Momo packed this room out. It was mm-hmm. awesome at Bray Improv. And... We were, but Momo and I like to study the crowd a little bit. We like to get a feel of what's going to be going on. And yeah, we're like a ticking time bomb. And then when we're on stage, bam, it's showtime. Yeah. And yes. then we do our thing. Because we're there to entertain you guys. We're you, there to make you feel You ever good. have like a, a, somebody in a show that's just mocking the whole time? You're like, shut the fuck oh, up yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, but that shit happens all the fucking time. It comes on territory, right? Night. Shit, fucking happened last Did it night. really? Yeah, yeah, have some, yeah, Momo's on stage. Momo's doing his thing. And somebody just wouldn't shut the fuck up. And these were people that saw him before, perform before. So and he also Momo said that, got mad and told them to shut up. Well, yeah. supposedly, oh, really? supposedly it was a free show. Oh. So, you know, people don't appreciate shit that's free. Yeah. So yes. they were kind of probably being... Yeah, asked. sometimes. Because, you know, I'm not trying to hate, but Latinos, we, we always complain we get free shit. Yeah. Like we were, why, we, why, why are we getting this? No, exactly. <laughs> Can you hook it up more? I'm like, fuck, man. But it's already free. Yeah. yeah. But that's just, you know, that's just how we are sometimes in society. I do want to take a small commercial break. Yeah. When we come back, we do have a live caller. Yeah. And um, I... I want your input on this call because I kind of had an idea where this call is going. Okay. And it's going to be just, it's going to be fun. We're okay, gonna, let's do we're it. We're going to give out advice. So yeah. we're basically like, we'll be right back, yeah. everybody. I'm on 10 again. Yeah. State your name. Big Ben Dope on Flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping and. <laughs> and we are back. Um, our caller's lagging right now, but I do know this story about the situation because okay. she, she was telling me, but I don't know the. The ending of it. Mm-hmm. So this girl, she had a boyfriend. They've been dating since about January, whatever, seven okay. months, eight months. And she said she was staying at his house. Mm-hmm. It was three so in the it's morning. Official. It's official. They, they have sex, everything. Um, she's staying at his house. It's three in the morning. <laughs> He's passed out. Okay. He's asleep. His phone, he, he keeps getting alert on his phone. It's keep going off and off and, and bad off. hours, like 3 3 in the morning is pretty bad, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those are so, hours. And, your phone shouldn't be going yeah, off at all. We so don't she, know that. Bro. So it's your mom. Yeah. So she's, um, yeah. yeah. So she's like, what the fuck? Like, like anybody, she didn't check the phone. And he's knocked out. Yes. So she didn't check the phone. It's 3 in the morning, phone going off. It's going, she goes, it was ringing a lot. Like, it was kept going alert, alert, alert. Mm-hmm. So she gets the phone. She looks. And it's notifications from Grindr. Ooh. Those that know what Grinder is, it is a gay men dating app. Yeah. Okay. Right, Brian? Yeah. So she yeah. gets the phone and she's like, what the fuck? Like, what is it? So she broke up with him and says, okay, my boyfriend's gay. Like, and she called it quits. That was a wrap. So I don't know, if that, I don't know how the conversation went. She go, I just, like, I fucking left. I was disgusted. In his, yeah. So you know? what did he say about it? I don't know. So I wanted to call her right now and see what happened. But that's a story. But that's a crazy fucking story, right? Imagine like, that, that happened to you. Uh, what would you do, Amp, if that happened to you? Besides get them, like, it's in... <laughs> if I saw... Gr- well, yeah, I, honestly, I would question it. I'd be like, what the fuck is this for sure? Like, any, the same thing. I probably would have done the same so, thing. But I would want, like... Answers. Answers. Yeah. I need answers. But especially if it was any... I think any dating website, I would trip out. But Grindr, yeah, it's a little... It's a little... What? <laughs> Wow. So this is like, all right, so he was obviously out. He was drinking. He was probably on Grinder the whole night. You're right. So he gets home, and now he's getting notifications, wow. so that's why they're going off. There you go. So he could have either been on a, a, a little date, or and then he started getting or got horny notifications at that time. But either way, he was taking pee-pee, and... There are a lot of straight men who are not straight. That's not called straight, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what I'm Don't saying Don't start it off. There's a lot of straight men that are gay. Like, they, boys. They, that's they, not straight anymore. That's not straight at all. That goes here. They identify themselves as being straight. Oh, no, no, straight, no. There's no such thing. But really, low-key, they, like... Because I know a lot of... I have a lot of gay guy friends, and they'll say... Oh, 
And no. Then, yes, my no. gay my gay guy friends say they hook up with a lot of straight men, men that but are married. They're, they're, they're not straight. They're not straight. Just, they're not straight. That's, where it goes that's gay. Yeah, that's called gay. You're gay. And that's cool. Shut a lot up. of a lot yeah. of gay men hook up with other gay men. Yes, and that, that's cool. Or like, bisexual, whatever. If, if you. Yeah. The thing is, they're they're pretending to be the closet. Yeah. closet. They're, they're, they're in the straight, closet. But if you hook up with another man, guess what? Well, You're gay now. If then another I'm man, just, if another man, the listen, right here, if like, another man gives you, gay. if the man gives you an erection, you can't say all guys are gay. This, this no, person no. say all Jews are gay. And shout out to Gay Cholo. He was the coolest was looking the homo, dude. Homo, homo, homo. What's his name? Homo, homie. Homo, homie. So at least like he's not he's not in the closet. Like you know what I mean? You guys hung out with the gay Cholo. Oh yeah, he's okay. a homo homo. He's dope. I no, like he's that. super that's cool. cool. That's cool. He wears low socks, Erica. but he's down. <laughs> Shit, I got my low socks no, too. No, like, like he was that. in Air Forces with socks like with the like the little the little like the little con ball at the end. Okay. Oh wow. All right. <laughs> he had jean shorts on. <laughs> the jersey. He had a fucking. No, he had overall shorts. Yes. Oh, Let it be known. He had the the, the football jerseys mm-hmm. from like the '80s that are like with the mesh one, the mesh oh, okay. jerseys, the, like, the, the AC slaters. Yeah, 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 like right here, like. I was like, he was down. Like he right, looked, right. Oh, the best part was he had a Dodger fitted hat, right? Like, <laughs> look, a feed me Dodger <laughs> hat. Okay. Right. Fucking bedazzled on the fucking. It was the bedazzled, bedazzled Dodger hat. Bedazzled the Dodger hat. So there right, we yeah. go. I'm still It should have been a Giants hat, to be honest. To <laughs> be honest. Hey, with that, you. But you look That's at cool, him. He man. has the Good gold team. He shaved head, fucking silver chain. He walked around. I know, I know and a homie who's married with I'm kids just reading and hooks these up with gay too. dudes on the d- down low. But that's called gay. Yeah, he's a gay man. Yeah, he's a gay man. No. And 323, three, like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was on last week, remember? No. His wife, G Money, fixed oh, that marriage. Yeah, 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 G yeah. Money, high five again. What? You fixed, you fixed the the marriage. marriages? You fixed the marriage. Tell the story, G Money. Yeah. Fixing marriages and ruining them. It's a cool podcast. Yeah, you need to talk to the mic the whole little shit. bit. There you go. <laughs> Can you shut the fuck up? So do you have any do you have any crazy stories relationships with stories? guys you hooked up after show? <laughs> no dudes, a couple of midgets, but not a bunch of dudes. Uh, not girl midgets. Uh, no, 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 no dudes. I'm sorry. I'm let me know. Let, let me know. I don't want to be have you ever been incorrect. kissed like Momo? Ooh. No. Ah, no, no. <laughs> have you no. motorboated him? I, I, I avoided a kiss. He's all mad. Time, He's yeah, still mad yeah, at yeah, you yeah. saying I, that I avoided, you're not together. I, I avoided a kiss, not from Momo, but. Uh, no, from a from a fan, a dude tried to kiss me. Fucking dodge it, like, hey, good show. I was Wait, like, was he a boxer? <laughs> was, no, was he a boxer? No, he, was, he wasn't a boxer. Oh. No, because I heard swimmer. there's a boxer going no, around. Was a swimmer, just let me kissing comedians. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a swim swimmer? Swimming, just swimming. With a with a gray loose anus? No, he died. I, no, he died? <laughs> Not that day, but yeah. Um, oh. I don't know if he's passed away. I don't want to look that up. Uh, Greg Luganus. Wait, he's the one. No. He got AIDS, right? Yeah, they just yeah. call him Loose Anus. Oh, Luganus. Somebody say tonight's the night for that first kiss. Jesus Christ, I love your fucking. Fun. Your fans are fucking ruthless. And Wait, nice. did he die? Yeah, fun. I love kind of, did he die? I love you, Twitchers. You guys are fucking. Mario around. Lopez played Greg Luganus in a, a Lifetime movie. They're really good. That's a fact. That was good. Fact checked, right? Good. Luganus. He did. Yeah, yeah. Well, not yeah. Loose Anus. <laughs> he was an Olympic diver. Yeah. Olympic diver. So he's going to dive on. Yeah. On and off. He, he, did, he was a butt diver, too. He did the butterfly stroke <laughs> and every other stroke you want. So, no. The I bedroom stroke. It yeah. sucks. Yeah. It's just, we've had some weird shit happen. It just, it just, it's part, it comes with the fucking territory, you know? What's the weirdest... And a man. It's part of being a man. Why is... Why? I don't know why. Don't answer, answer the... No. Like, don't answer the big owl. Yeah. All right. So, talk shit like us. weirdest shit ever happened to you after a show? Now, go. Mom had a good one. This is yours. I had a fucking... I remember I did a show in front of three people, dude. Oh, and, shit. And, no, listen. No, this is real talk. In Chico, California. And uh, it was a really fucking redneck fucking bar. Shout out to rednecks. And shout out to yeah. fuck, shout out to fucking rednecks. You know who you are, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, after the show, uh, the, the, the guy that was running the shows told me I had to ride the mechanical bull so I can get fucking paid, bro. No! Yeah. So I was like, bring that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the last longer than 15 seconds, you give me an extra That was hundred. one of the weirdest, craziest shit that happened. You had to ride the board uh, to get, get paid. paid. Yeah, yeah. Because he was an asshole. And then uh, they were expecting more than three people. And I guess they didn't fucking show up. So I was like, I was still, I still did my time. And the guy goes, hey, man. Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, so I had to ride a mechanical But it, was it paid. awkward? Like, it was uh, fucking awkward. People. Hell yeah, it was. I never rode a mechanical board. No, no, the show. Hell yeah, it was. It was just a bartender, a fucking Oh, you're janitor. counting the workers? Yeah, fuck yeah. That's what I'm counting. It was three motherfucking the people. Security, the security is right there. 
That so it was. Like, so it was nobody. Yeah. There. It was the fucking bartender, the janitor, and the fucking, and that's it. And somebody else. That was it. it was some random. But shit. security checked it his ID while he's performing. That's what. That's what. But that's what comedians hey, do. He had to buy two drinks himself. That's fucked up. <laughs> you were there. See, you were fucking there. You didn't have tattoos back then, but you were fucking there. Oh, you used uh, it as a practice run. Basically. No, well, here's the thing. That's what's cool about being a comic. Like we don't give a fuck whether it be two people or two thousand. It's show not the size that matters. Go on. Size yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, that too. But the show must <laughs> for go crowd, on. Now. No, for the crowd, I mean. But yeah, we don't care, man. Yeah. Like, we have to do, we're, we're artists. We have to do our thing. And that's, that's the one thing that just separates just performers from just other people not doing From that. Instagram so skits and comedians. No, we're, we're, I'm not going to fucking get in a fight with wait, the no, Instagram. We're, we're, we're no, we're doing no, it. We're not, we're, I'm I'm we're, we're, we're trying to move me. There's a movement. So you guys, fucking skaters come around you, we're look, fucking jumping look, Here's the thing. Nope. Look, All right. to the Instagrammers, there we go. And, to the Instagrammers and TikTokers, they are doing a hell of a job. That's great. That's a new way. My son, it's my, new, it's my new son loves that. I got a 16 year old son. He loves that shit. Yeah. And you know what I mean? But look, but being on stage is fucking different. Let me tell you too. So we had, there's one guy that skate. He came on a show. He's very funny, mm-hmm. and and that was concrete's pretty fucking funny, dude. Like well, I think concrete's he's a doing fun, a good job. He's, a, he's doing I an amazing job. Last time. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. Um, there was a guy that came on there and had all these fucking. They, they won like viral shit that went on. That's great. They've been on a show and they couldn't keep up with G Money's jokes. Not even a little bit. Yeah. Like and not even a little bit. The wow. thing, no, but the thing about him is like mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't even want to get into it. It's just you could already feel his vibe was different. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not gonna fucking try to. I don't know. So whenever yeah. you go, <laughs> well, whenever crazy. you're about to do a show, yeah. or do you do you basically prepare like what I you're going to have your jokes are going to go or do you step on stage and just kind of see how the crowd's going and then that kind of leads to the path of what your jokes are going to be For example, like. look. Okay, the show that you guys saw me at. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which did, was fucking amazing. Okay, I did a tight 15. My show's usually an hour. Ooh, so it was condensed okay. to 15 minutes. Damn, like, how? bam, bam, bam. Oh, so you're gonna get wow. A bunch of fucking shots fired. Bam, bam, right. bam. That's why everything's like boom, boom, boom. Damn. Momo did an hour so Momo just taking all the fucking Momo, time huh? Momo, what Momo, a fucking stage hogger no but listen Ma- Momo no, but like whose show was no, it no listen it's, <laughs> it's Momo's show damn it but listen but Momo when you get that that time you could fuck around clown you see how Momo was just clowning yeah. uh, the, the front row the people that yeah. and that's what's the people beautiful that wouldn't shut up. that's uh-huh. the shit that's not planned yeah. cause Momo already has an arsenal of his jokes right. that he's gonna do just like I do but we know we know how to adapt like oh damn how come that guy is wearing this or whatever that's from years of experience. We didn't know that shit. Oh. We, were, we didn't get that. We didn't know how to do that shit till later, as we were doing comedy show. It's like you know, you just the more you do it, the better you get at it. Right. If you commit like to anything. it, yeah. like yeah, anything, like anything else. And that's what I'm saying with the Instagrammers. They're good at it because they fucking do it all day, and they're doing all their little videos and editing, which is great. But it's just not my thing. I am a stand-up comic through and through, and that's what I do. And did you do classes? No, fuck no. Oh this wow. This is the kind of shit. It's oh, like geez. comedy chose me. Comedy said, you know what? Ooh. Bam. So it just happened. And your bitch Naturally. chose me. Naturally, yeah. And well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I was doing shows, all kinds of shows. And where I'm from, we didn't have like theme shows. What I mean by that, like when you come out here to LA, they have Latino night, black comedy night. We didn't have that where I'm from. It was pretty much, we had a lot of diversity. We had okay. uh, mm-hmm. uh, Asians, whites, and it kind of just mixed up. And that kind of helped me. But when I moved, I've only been out here in LA for 10 years. And that's one thing. Like, and Momo and I talk about this all the time. Like when we do show, oh, it's Latino night or it's Taco Tuesdays. It's like yeah. we didn't have that shit. We didn't have theme nights. We just fun is I, funny. I know Amherst asked me you about way, your favorite huh? comedians, but not your favorite comedians. But is there a funny, like a funny skit that somebody did that? Like for me, it was it was Paul Rodriguez, and yeah. he was in um, he was in um, in prison. He was in fucking yeah Saco- when he was performing at San Quentin. And I, I thought it was uh, to me that's the funniest one I and seen. To me, that was great because like growing up as a kid, that that's who I looked up was Paul Rodriguez, yeah. and then. The fact that I got to do the Latin Kings of Comedy tour with him for about twelve years, that was a blessing. And I learned so much from him. And he's he's the he's one of the first he opened up the doors for a lot of us oh, yeah. comedians of Latin descent. You know what I mean? But we are comedians of Latin descent, but our comedy's for everybody. We don't just go around like, hey everybody, I don't right. fucking talk around. Yeah. We just we're just funny. So That's a- it. Actually, going back to that, because mm-hmm. we asked you when we weren't recording, but who are some of your favorite comedians that you do look up to? Well, okay. Well, for one, right there, uh, Paul Rodriguez. I love him. Uh, he's like a he's a mentor. He helped me out a lot. But growing up, obviously, Richard Pryor. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love me some Chris Rock. I love Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr. There's so many comedians. But the thing is, is like, I, I, I give props to anybody that goes up on stage and right. talks to strangers. That's pretty much what we're doing. You know, uh, have you ever seen anybody on the first time mm-hmm. and they go out and they bomb and you just quit? I, I've never seen it personally. Like one time, like one and done. Yeah, like, like mm-hmm. boom, like like that's it. Well, no, I've never seen that. But he, kinda, why would you? How would you remember that? Like, yeah, it's kind of weird though. Know, like one time, bye, bitch. Like my first and last show. Well, that's just you know, so. But no, I've you, never seen it like yeah. one time. I've yeah. seen it like 
somebody retired after two or three shows. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Usually it takes about two or, like, if you try it, like, five or six times and you start not doing good. How do you uh, feel, like, mm -hmm. when you, you're you seeing someone yeah. bomb and fuck up? Oh. Like, because I know, like, personally, like, if I was, I'd be like, fuck. Oh, like, embarrassed How do you... Them. As comedians, do you give like pump them up or like? Hey, Fuck you? no! I don't want none of that shit rubbing off on me. Who is fucking loser? No, I don't say that. No, no, you're not funny, you. Juju. Hey. No, here's the thing. Um, here's the thing. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck, Fuck those. Fuck those people. We're getting a momo fucko emo. We've had. We've. I bombed before. Fucking. I bombed at the Apollo in New York. Wow. I had to follow Christina Aguilera singing "Genie in a Bottle." They fucking booed the shit out of me. Really? Like, Hell yeah! I hated that Ooh. bitch for a long time. I Ooh. hated that place. Well, everyone, when you see hey. Christina Aguilera, you fucking jump her. No, I'm telling you, that oh, song it was haunting me, bro. Like "Genie in a Bottle." Was like, oh, I fucking bombed it again. Like it was fucking bad. You hate that song. But why? Wait. Now, but I'm over Why do you feel you good. bombed? No, I just, I just wasn't ready. The thing is, like, and I wasn't part of Amateur Night. I was part of you the show. You touched the wood thing. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I touched the wood before I went out. Yeah, hey. bro they had they were, the brothers were relentless. Like, get the fuck off stage. It was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they were fucking dancing. Is that on YouTube? Get the fuck off stage. Get the fuck off the stage. It was bad. I just wasn't ready. I was in they my. Had a whole fucking is that on YouTube? Scene. No, but check this out. Is that no, you no, no, no. Oh, fucking thank God. Oh. Oh. Right my family would have disowned me, bro. No, but here's the thing. I just wasn't ready, bro. But you know what? I learned so much. But as a, as a comedian, we'd rather get. At least that was a reaction. Yeah. Sometimes we've done shows and no, they're just staring at you like. Nobody says shit, and that sucks. How do you practice a joke, though? Just, you just well, throw it well, out there? Well, Somebody else. what will we do? Okay, how we practice a joke? Uh, like a new joke, what I try to do, if it's a new joke, I try to <laughs> try it in five or six different Somebody audiences. Gets and if it doesn't work, <laughs> after that, then it's well, we gotta guys, the joke. He's talking. What are you guys it's laughing at? Are laughing. No, we're no, no. We're laughing. We're laughing right? because Rocky like stole the guest question, and he pretended it was his. <laughs> like, I got a good question I'll for you right now. I'll ask you for most comedians have a messed up childhood. Okay, wait, I like this That's question. That's why we're laughing. No, we're I like these guys. Be... These guys have some good fucking questions, yeah. too. Thank you. Question for the guests. Jesus. Most comedians have Computer? a messed up childhood. Oh, like do you, you have, have a, an Uncle Nono. Do you have a rough, dark childhood? No, actually, my childhood is great. I, I, just have, I, I just have a sister. We grew up. We had vacations every fucking year. It was splendid. It was fucking awesome. You had a great life. I have a great fucking life. Great family, and it, it's, it's all good. Not show. everything is dark with comedians. That's the one thing I don't like either. A lot of people think the comedians are depressed, yeah. and we're all fucking like yeah. on suicide watch. That's bullshit. Do you think? <laughs> do, do you think? Do you there. think like uh, the Mexican race is the only race that can make black jokes? No, no. Like, wait, do you think? I feel like a white person can do a black joke. I, you know, it, <laughs> some have the balls. I feel like nobody. There's, can there's do a black couple of white right comedians now, that can get though. that get away with it. Some, some brother jokes, but. The I, look, here's the thing: the Latinos and, and the and the black community, we've always back. Yeah, it's just like a yeah. constant back and forth. Because Neil Brennan could, cl could clown a little bit on the brothers, but it's it's just you know everything's so taboo now. Everything's right now, on high alert. Have to, yep. Sometimes you can't breathe. Oh my God, we're gonna fucking you know it's it's just a little too much. But nowadays, la nowadays. But that's the one thing about what's good about comedy is that we still get to say we used to have a say what we want to say most of the time. Right. I'd say about ninety eight percent of the time. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, yeah. We're gonna take one more break when we come yeah, back. We're gonna try to get that caller, and if not, then um, we're hoping you bless us with some jokes at the end. And if you talk, <laughs> said Dan if you could talk, um, like like Hefty did, kind of. Yeah. Kind of cool. So we're right back, everybody. <laughs> A good question, Momo. Uh, Seven is two, inches. Is a two drink minimum at venues helpful for comedians? I, I never even thought about that. Did what? You? Is the two drink minimum? No, we don't get shit, bro. We don't get fucking no. shit from no, the comedy no, club. No, no, no. Fuck Diddy. It... Fuck Bad Boy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> them. It's a record club. No, do, do they? Hey, you want to be down with Bad Boy? Well, fuck you, you too. 
<laughs> no, that's the question is, is does a two drink minimum at Thanks. venues helpful for comedians? We we would no, no. Nah. No, we don't they're think not so. giving you one. Huh? No. They're not giving me shit. Yeah. Shit. Buy me do you a have drink any no shows near please. Sacramento? Nobody ever Sac- does. I do shows in Sacramento drink, once a year at Laughs com- Unlimited. Thank you for asking. Buy the comedians drinks when they're on stage. No one please, ever does. Please, no one buys this shit, man. <laughs> My next show is, God, let's see. August 25th. Look, I'm going to post on my Instagram I because I got quite a few shows coming up. Follow me on Manny to the Max. Go watch Manny. He's fucking funny, man. Hilarious. Don't fuck around. He's fucking funny. He's, he's... Question for guests. Will you guys take a drink if I send it to you? Absolutely. Fuck you. Look. Yes. Comedians, we, if you send Wait, a drink no, to us, we'll drink it. That's Bill Cosby 77. No, we will not accept that drink. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Bill Cosby 77? <laughs> no, we won't. I got you, Amanda. Thank you. 1976. I see you. I've been sent packs of condoms on stage. We've been sent all kinds of weird shit. Gary I've Owens. Been for, oh, that's right. That's right. Gary Owens. Gary Owens does do black jokes. You're right. My I've bad. I forgot about Gary Owens. Hey, ball. It's Gary Owens. Owen, really? Not Owens. On stage. They put it in your yeah. pocket. They take pictures with you in the end. Oh, no, that was funny. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> um, question yeah. for guests. Have you guys ever been to the holiday? All I the post- time. Come on. <laughs> Fucking all the time. Hey, it's not a question. <laughs> no, it's not a question. Said, that's a all fact. All the time. Alina. Do you guys like titties? Yeah, mm-hmm. no, we don't. We hate titties. Alina okay, Rose said yes. She tried to buy you a shot. I put my, I'll put my Amanda. I'll put my dates on my Instagram. Manage to the Alina max. Rose, I told Momo. I tried to buy Momo a shot in Brea. He told me <laughs> he, he was, was eight <laughs> shots deep. I was though. Look at my. Listen to my throat right now. We did a show last night. <laughs> we did a show last night. We were drinking last night. My whole throat is pickled. Whoa. From all, Lucky. From all the. Alcohol, not from the penises. Oh, I was like, <laughs> Will you guys take a line of coke if offered to you? I'm asking you I've, for a friend. I never have. I've, it's okay. I've been offered. Sometimes, sometimes. No, <laughs> it's it's okay. Sometimes, you know, no, 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 I don't do yayo. You know why? Because we're working. <laughs> we're working. At the end of the day, we're at work. That is our job, you guys, believe it or not. Victor yeah. or she said, Momo, oh my God. <laughs> I love and hate you guys at the same I time. <laughs> Question for guests. How important is the comedian outfit, outfit when it, fuck it's not important? Yes, fuck, it is no. to me. To me it is. No, well, we dress better now. I, I I always I wear a suit when I perform because George Lopez and the, the Kings of Comedy yeah. told me this one time they're like, you need to look better than the people that come to see you. If they're gonna spend money on you. You need to spend money on yourself and give them a hell of a show. That, I think we dress up nice, right? Look there are, great. There, it's and a show. when you came out on when you came out in your yeah. suit too, oh. I felt like I was at like a fancy show. Like Thank you. I, it made me feel no, yeah. like I was at a. I Thank was you. like, you know, I was like, but see, but the comedian, the comedian, the comedian that I am, the way we are, we bust balls. And when I saw myself, I was like, man, you selling the timechair? What's up? My <laughs> I know. I'm not worried. You know I mean, I, I want to buy a used car and laugh at your joke and laugh exactly. How much is the money? Look, if you're gonna buy. Like sixty five dollars when you you and a and a friend come, plus the drinks, plus the food, we look parking, and I show up in a fucking hoodie and a t shirt. Whatever. I mean, that's Fuck disrespectful that. to you yeah. as as the person to pay. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a show. It's like going to a strip bar and seeing the chicks like in fucking uh, you know oh, yeah. sweats and or shit. hairy legs. Hairy legs. They take care of their bodies. Jerseys. I might not take care of my body, but I dress it up nice. Or or their dick pops out of their lingerie. (laughs) And it's happening. What the fuck? And it's happening. We didn't pay for that. I like to give a show, even if it means <laughs> being in you're, hot you're lights. Great. Dude, the Twitchers, I love them, man. Relax, like a, Aris, Momo is not interested. <laughs> Which is a comedy show for laughs and a car payment. I love it. Uh, the holiday, yes, the holiday is in the F's, SFS. Santa Fe know. Springs, for, those Springs yes. for all the cholos doing the abbreviations. We, we've made a couple appearances uh, uh, out there lately. Yeah. We times. perform, you know, listen, we go everywhere. You have your own invite there. us, we're there. We go anywhere. We the perform anywhere, is, you guys. Our job is to perform for you guys. You guys are going through shit. You're going through depression. <laughs> you're going through fucking low verga testosterone. We're going to be there to get those dicks hard. Whoa. We, uh, how do you feel when a guest speech. asks for a, a pic? We love taking pictures with a guest. Anytime. Question for guests. I it don't. Easier? Not all the time. Not all the time. Is it easier to perform with the stage light in your face to see the audience? Yeah, we, we care if the stage light is... Yeah. Well, there's a trick that we do, right? That's a long-ass question. It's a good trick. When when we're performing, all you see is a light. We do see the light, yeah. So you do something called the three three views. You talk and you're like this. Thank you for being here tonight. It's been great seeing you guys all. Having a good time today. Make sure you go back, forth, back, forth. You don't see shit. You just find one thing to look at. Switch to here. Do combinations. Go here, 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 here. And it looks like, oh, he looked at me. He wants me. 
That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the strippers. Yes, we love you too. We love you too. Yes. We, you do that trust me, we club? love you guys. We yeah. don't, we're not performing at the strip club. Not, not yet. I have. Have you ever performed at the strip bar? Just yeah. one time. I've done a whorehouse in a strip bar. One time. You did a brothel? For real? I did, I did Adelitas one time. I was performing. <laughs> it was fucking depressing. Yeah. When you come to Ontario it's Improv, I will be at the Im Ontario Improv, I think September 15th. Oh, that's my yeah. mom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where's she at? She just asked when are you going to be at the Ontario Improv. Oh, that was your mom? Her yeah. mom's I'll, bomb. I'll, yeah, I, I've been hearing great things about you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, from, from, from previous other people. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll be there. Uh, 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 September 15th, I'll be out there. Somebody asked, were your was your family supportive with you when you first started? Um, yes, uh, they were kind of pissed off first that I dropped out of college. Uh, <laughs> they were that, that took them a little bit to get over, and then they're all, "You're gonna tell jokes?" And they said, "Well, you just better be pretty damn good at it." And yeah, so I did get the support. But they used to come, they come, they come to all my shows, all my cousins, uncles, and aunts. So they would support. That was actually one of my my best crowds. Actually, when I first started, they were supporting like crazy. They That's still awesome. do. That's awesome. Yeah. And they still go to your all your shows. Uh, when I'm out there in Northern California, yeah. if I'm close by, they'll they'll come through. Yeah. And I I, I got some family in San Diego. If I'm performing in San Diego, they'll come out there too. Nice. So, yeah. so it's all good. It's Did all we love. get the info for your your guys' well, we're not next on, show? We haven't went on live. Oh, we're yet. not live back. Yeah. All right, we're, we're still talking to the Twitchers. And we're right. still on Twitchers, the keep going. I'm gonna have yeah, a good. Are you gonna do a five minutes? To, no, I'm not gonna do a five minute. I don't need to. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just being. This is just an interview. I don't do. Uh, I'll do stand up. What's the budget? What's the budget? If you're gonna start, get, we'll give you our Venmo. You start paying us. Three right <laughs> and a motherfucking trip right. away. <laughs> <laughs> Question uh, for guests: How have venues ever had an input on your comedy sets? Ooh, yeah, all the yeah, time. all the time. Yeah, they'll be like, "Can you do this? Give me a favor and like, <laughs> yeah. not cuss." I'm like, "Fuck you." Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes they'll 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 give us some a little really? bit they of. Really, they give you guys rules? Sometimes, once in a while, not all the time. It, it's it's rare now because Momo and I are, are 15 plus years into doing stand up, so they know what they're gonna get from from each of us. Where did Rocky go? He's still here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Fine, and I'll leave, he's guys. He's eating. He's Where's eating Rocky? some chips. Get Momo out of Where's here. Rocky? He's eating Where's chips. Rocky? He's eating He's eating a Snickers. No. They're paying the bills with them ads on YouTube. All right. Rocky's YouTube. taking a fat shit. We will shit throw again? you in bitties. I love these Twitch Twitchers, I love you guys. Just follow me on Instagram. You can talk shit to me all there, too. Momo eating is getting me horny. So you're getting somebody horny. Momo really? by eating. Okay. Wait, what? I didn't even hear you. Here we go. Momo's eating is getting you horny, really? Ready? Yes. Three, wow. Two, one, action. All right, you guys, welcome back. So, Manny, um, closing out here, are yeah. there any shows, upcoming shows you have going on? Anything you want to tell the people? Well, here's the thing. Uh, during, I've been doing a lot of shows in Mexico, too, in Cabo. Really? Um, yeah, oh, yeah. I've been doing a lot of stuff in Cabo. Right That's going to be badass. It's been great. The only thing right now, Cabo finally got hit with the pandemic. So right now, there's not going to be any comedy, maybe till October. Cabo got hit with the pandemic. Cabo, Cabo San Lucas got hit hard with the pandemic right now. Like, it's their turn, unfortunately. Is it so, cheaper than a goal right now? Oh, man, yeah. You can go right now for, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really economically viable to go over there right now. But it's just dangerous right now because uh, right now, they don't, not everybody's vaccinated. So a lot of people are getting sick, unfortunately. So they're at 30% capacity, and the curfew and coffee is, and Cabo right now is, like, at 9.45 or 10 p.m., unless you're staying at a private resort. I had no I idea. That. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. So I'm out there all the time, man. So we've been doing shows out there. But in the meantime, uh, the next show I'm going to be doing, uh, I got some local shows I'm doing out here. You can find me on, on the Instagram, Manny to the Max. On the but, Instagram. And I'm going to Arkansas next month, so that's going to be fun. It's going to be fun doing some <laughs> a comedy show at the Grove Comedy Club out there in September. And, yeah, we're just doing things now. Everything's mm -hmm. opened up. We're, you guys just got to be safe. That's all. We don't care. Laugh your ass off. Get your, you know, just be safe. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are, so... I know you do stand-up comedy, but is there anything else that you do? I know you write. We write, you know. I write. We're trying to create. We're trying to. We're trying to create some. We want to. We want to put some good quality stuff on TV. Okay, see. We really do. We hopefully, and maybe when we get back together, sooner than later. I'm gonna see you guys around anyway. But yeah. maybe when we do another interview in less than a year, we're gonna have some shit ready to go. We want to. We want to sell some good stuff to TV because we want. We want our people being represented in a good, positive way. Because for some reason. Or the way Hollywood portrays us sometimes yeah. all the time. We always have to be looking a certain way, talking this way. We're better than that. So we got some shit ready for some people right now. Nice. Yeah, that's it, man. Well, once I again, I want to thank you for coming on. No, thank you You're for having amazing. me. And I'm going to tell you, you guys. If you want to close this out with your favorite joke, you can do it right now. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just do voices. Look, I, I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> thank you. Swap it. No, but look, you guys need to support. These guys are just awesome. They Not only do they love comedy, they love life. And, you know, I follow them. They're just yeah, they talk a lot of shit, but they're really... I love how you guys are for the people. Yeah. And that's 100%. something that we're... 
we're lacking right now in society. A lot you guys actually give a shit about community and people. Yeah. So mm-hmm. keep up the outstanding work. No, oh, thank you, man. Keep it up, damn it, keep it up. I told myself I was going to cry. Oh, no. No, no, cool. no, it's cool, but I, I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw Rocky, I was like, I might get stabbed because, you know, he looks so intimidating. Or kissed. But he's, he's or stabbed you with my like teddy bear. He is Isn't the it? biggest teddy bear, shortest teddy bear, big, kind of whatever, <laughs> in a good way. Build a bear. He, and, and, and I love um, how you're always posting positive stuff, too. Thanks, you guys man. just keep up the good job and... In closing, just keep up the motherfucking good job. Y'all need to follow street motherfucking scholars. <laughs> You're putting Thank it you, in. Buddy. Yeah. I'll do it in Spanish. Hold on. Por favor, siguen los street scholars. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me. Love you guys. Right. You said, too. We're you, out of here. Yeah, we're out of here. We're going to do... Twitch, five more minutes. Five more yes. minutes on Twitch. Twitch. Just That's questions it. only. And uh, um, if you want a reading from Momo... I'm sorry, Momo. <laughs> want to read from Momo. And Momo and fucking... Manny, you're going to do Thank a fucking stand-up right now. Talk to you guys. <laughs> bye. Here's your Netflix special. Bye. bye. <laughs> he did a good bye. 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 Take that one. They're small, though. Try it on for... I got, Twitchers, I, got, like, I love heads. you guys. I got girl heads. You guys are honest and brutal, and that's what I want. They're small, yeah, they're small. Nobody speaks Spanish on the set. Disculpa. Yo sí puedo hablar español. Si se puede. Question for the guests. Is Bernie Mac voice say... Chupama la verga. Chupa la pinche verga, cabrones. There's your pretty mad voice. Oh. For, yeah, we do it. And I can do all kinds of weird shit with it. I can you do, oh, oh, it hey. says, oh, it says, can you do, can you do Chris Rock and Bernie Mac having sex okay, together? So, uh, really? Somebody just asked that? Yeah. No. Okay. Give it to me. Somebody just asked that. You're asking that. Joke. Give it to me, buddy. Shut the fuck up, Chris. <laughs> what would you say to a 16, to an 18 year old? If he said he wanted to be a stand-up comedian. Hey, follow your dream. If that's what you want to do is make people laugh, we need more comedians. That's good. So do that shit. Yeah. America needs to laugh. The world needs to laugh right now. So if you want to do it, Thank you. fucking do it, man. Hell yeah. That's good. Only if he's funny. If he's what, not, what, what is it? What are all the, is that are, it all, says, the, uh, all those stickers? What is that? Is are it? you circumcised or not? That's, that's a weird question, that dude. Yeah, that, like, that's so weird. Really, since they want to know what, what <laughs> that's it, what? random. Also, thank you guys to all of our subscribers today. Hold on, get those circumcised. She's gonna. Thank you, for all the all the subscribers. Give us all, give us all. Oh, you got. Oh, you know what? Oh, Robin Harris. Oh, damn, that's a good one. I've never even tried Robin Harris. Well, Robin Harris. Focus, baby kids. I think he sounded something like that. Baby kids. A little bit kind of like Bernie, but Robin Harris, rest in peace. I don't yes. know if you guys remember Robin Harris. Oh, yeah, that what guy. What the fuck is baby kids? Yeah, remember, remember? the big yeah. eyes. Yeah. yeah. The crazy eyes. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. So you remember that shit. The question was for Rocky. Laughing my ass off. Oh, fuck. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> these guys these guys are good hexes, yeah, bro. No, they, uh, for sure. What was his... What position do you get if a girl eats your butt? Do you do That's what the it says. sniper? Asked that? Oh, you're yeah. asking no, no, that shit. No, right there. Yes, he's asking do you do the sniper or do you act like you're getting <laughs> you're your fucking weird, man? I love changed. it. You can just ask me this shit off stage, but no, oh, yeah. no, it's whatever. Real. No, it's it's a, it's a real. Question. It's right there. It's a Spanish though. Do I like eating cola? Is that what no, they want to know? No, do you, what position you are you in? Eating, what position you, are you in? Do you do the sniper, sniper or, or like look? Are you like you're getting your your diaper changed? Are you getting my diaper changed all the time? Hundred percent. Yeah. All right. Cool. I go like. <laughs> now you guys got your fucking answer. Hold on, hold on. Waiting. Question for the kid. What's your favorite Robin Williams movie? Oh, man. Fucking uh, Ghost. No, Mrs. Doubtfire, man. All day, bro. Mrs. Doubtfire all day. He's not even in that movie. Okay. <laughs> he said, he said hey. fucking Ghost. Said, hey. Silly all right. They said, if you had a fuck one, kill one, marry one, let's three, go. go. They said Rocky. Out of all three of you guys? Yes. Yeah. Fuck and one, marry one, kill one. Correctly. Oh, shit. You don't have to do that. I, I, I'm dead. Shut up, Al. Can I just Jeez. jack off to all you guys? Can okay. I just masturbate to all you guys? And we, and we respect that. That's yeah, respect. We I don't respect have to bone anybody. Best answer. I don't want to get married. <laughs> a smoky. I, pissed off, man. Like, I, I, I don't. I, Chris, Chris Tucker, I can't really fuck with. Pissed off, man. <laughs> Ghost. Ghost. Come on, bro. Street scholars, man. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds something like that. I don't know. They said Rocky's the one with the grinder page. Oh, wow. The grinder app. That's I why like him and his girl broke up. You know what I love about you? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. At the Whoa. same time, the girlfriend that's not my girlfriend, she saw your grinder. <laughs> These people, oh, uh, Mary, who's, who's Mary? Oh. Mary G Money. I, okay, yeah. Can you show me I think that's you? right. I think that's right. If I'm going to marry somebody, maybe oh, I don't know kill Amherst. This, this motherfucker hates everybody. <laughs> you are living at home in your <laughs> basement. Kill Amherst? Damn. He Give us one, one. <laughs> Mary, Mary G Money, kill Amherst. That means you're getting fucked. <laughs> I like this. I like him and hate this person at the same fucking time. Kill Amherst. Mary G Money. Who Swam said it. kill Amherst? Swam Swam whoever Alex is, who cares? Alex? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that one hit home. Oh. 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 O
whoever Alex is, I'm like, fuck Rocky. Fuck, fuck Rocky. Fuck Alex. So give him he married. Go ahead and block Alex, please. No. Don't block anybody. Make him a VIP. Make him a VIP. You're VIP. Very important pendejo. Okay. Oh my goodness, right, man! They're ruthless, bro. This, I'm never gonna soon. get on Twitch. I'll start. Three, 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 three more questions. Three more questions. Three more questions. Good ones. It's because of, I feel like some of these Twitchers were the people that are getting their ass kicked on fucking at the Rams game the other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that nigga in your ass fucked no, up. I asked if your that son. Lady that threw the drink. Oh, oh I asked if your son said you, if he wanted to be a. Com- no, my my son <laughs> has it has no aspirations and want to be a comedian that I know of. Uh, Steven said, "No way, Amaris is half amazing, half beautiful woman." Aw. Oh, that's his boy, her boyfriend. Leave Am alone. Steve. We're just I playing. Made, it's I all love. Am in a heartbeat. Leave Everybody, it's oh, all God. love. Thanks, Even the oh, now you're all happy Mama. again. Why are you all happy? Even the hate we're getting from the Twitchers is still love, Alex. man. It's I'm all good. Kidding. It's all love. Who cares? It's all who gives a shit. I Remember, can't they're, stand they're, you. they're typing. They're typing. So annoying. I know. Oh my God. Just because you got killed. It's a game, guys. It's a game, guys. It's gay. Who cares? It's it's Rocky likes to. Yeah, but shout out to that girl that in the hole. What on earth? Shout out to that girl that threw the drink at that guy and started the fight at the the, the Man, Ram on Ram fight. What was weird is like I'm a Raiders fan, so Raider fans at least we've hit the opponent. Yeah, yeah. we don't. Hit, <laughs> they were fighting so these guys are fighting amongst each other. And the the they, he hit the guy that didn't even throw the drink. Yeah. It was the girl that killed yeah. Selena. I heard today that he called <laughs> Yolanda. Yolanda, heard, she just got today. out. She Yolanda was, got out. Gee, I heard today he called in on the radio station explaining what happened. Oh really? Yeah. On what happened? AM 570 on the sports station because I'm listening to sports all the yeah. time. Uh, he called, kind of clarifies names like, "Hey, I'm not the one." You know, who Wacko. Started it. You know, Wacko is the main guy for um, um, Petro, the Petro Money Show. He's, oh, Petro. He's a, okay, yeah, he's yeah. A, he's the producer. Petro guy. talks like this all the time. AM 570. Yeah, that's how he sounds. Yeah. I love Petro. Wait, so dude. Wait, Petro knows his shit. Oh, sorry. USC. So what happened was, what happened was, the guy got hit, you know, and it just escalated and fuck, man, he got the worst of it. It was fucking yeah. crazy. And yeah, then one guy got beat up. The, the, the shit that sucks is gonna, you know, on Thanksgiving, like they gotta. You gonna show that fucking video over and over at his, at his Thanksgiving. <laughs> right. It's awful, man. Thanksgiving. Raiders yeah. Nation all day, baby. Yeah. Raider Nation that all day. That's just me. That's okay, I mean, uh, uh, are are you over under eight wins this year for Raiders? I probably we're over. probably gonna win seven games, bro. Yeah. Do, do you, you're an honest, honest fan. Bro, I respect that. You're honest. Some, oh, as, as a comedian, is it harder to maintain a relationship? Uh, no, no. I just uh, I I. I just been single. I'm just single. That's it. Doesn't mean I'm fucking weird. Single. They want you to do Bob from La Bamba. Oh shit. Oh. He has a shirt on. Oh, hold on. I, I think I do. You're the asshole with all the money. Why don't you get yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I probably got a raper. You, no, hold up. You know that. You know that art contest. You know that art contest. I won five hundred dollars. Look. Like that. Let's pull up parts like that. Oh, that's great, Mijo, <laughs> with the baby coming in and all. For our lessons. <laughs> <laughs> and see, all yeah. Right. So, uh, okay, a couple more. Uh, these guys are fucking cool. Oh, he likes fuck. Twitch. We'll stay on. Oh, oh Bob, Bob. Well, we're out of here. We're gonna leave. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm taking over this shit now. Okay, no, hold on. That's good. I went to a Raider Love Bill. Take your shirt off. And I'm a Bills fan. Homie punched me in the face for no reason. That's pretty accurate. I'm sorry that happened, but it's fucking. Went don't wear a fucking Bills jersey at a Raiders game. Hey, so happen. one time, unfortunately, I, it sucks. Hey, I hate yeah. that that happens. No, hey, sorry, check this out. So one day I thought I was all brave. So I went to Oak. I flew to Oakland by myself. It was two years ago. Okay. Rams, Raider, Monday Night Football. Oh, I yeah. get tickets. I sit in a black hole. Rammed out. Okay. You, but oh, I shit. told everybody, the black hole is the safest place to it be is, at the college. It That's where the gorilla is, It's expensive is, seats. Uh-huh. It's yeah. on TV. Yeah. And go, you're sitting in a black hole. Dude, it's all like, they're real fans. Like, yeah. it's, the, it's the most safest place you can be in, in, in Raider Nation. It is, bro. So it I go, so the whole time, you know, I'm there by myself. I'm talking mm-hmm. shit to the Raider fans. Rams won. So, you guys beat that ass. I yeah, so I had to go to Austin and Frisco. Okay. I hit the Bart back to <laughs> fuck it. Long. And then, you know, the dude, Bart is everybody's raided dude, up. Raided I up. felt like the movie The Warriors where I had to make it back home. <laughs> I'm not, I'm some real shit. I'm some real shit. Hey, I'm some real shit. I took my jersey off. Oh! I'm some real shit. That's the smart. No, they're smart. drunk you and fuck. Hey, they're mad. You probably I, I, saved your I'm life not, that I'm night, not, bro. No, I'm some real shit. Fool, You're like, smart. I took my jersey off and I just made it back to my, because people were like, hey, at the end of the day, there's ruthless fucking fans out there. Yeah. No, they are, And man. not only Especially that, it's, 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 it's like a north and south thing. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of things they combined. Do, they do. So I was like, okay, like, I, I'm trying to get back to my fucking place on some real shit. Right. Like, yeah. I'm not going to die for a Rams fucking jersey it's for that shit. Win, dog. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's fucking... Those Rams are painful. But it was, all, it, it was all fun and games, but I go, oh shit, I got to get... But you're right, you were at a safe place, but unfortunately when you left, because the bar's dangerous. 
I mean, Bart's people, super dangerous. People get stabbed. Well, people even, get fucked even, up there. Even, it's just bad. The, even hitting the parking even lot. Even cops yeah, get yeah, yeah. assaulted too. Oh, no, so. it's parking lot or and, the bar, the bathroom. And everybody's drunk at, at the end of the yeah, game. And they lost. Drunk. And they lost, bro. Come on, bro. I just laugh because you know I, I'm mean, a Raider fan, but Momo and I are Raider, hardcore Raider fans. But fucking Momo posted that the Raiders won preseason. I'm like, dog, it's preseason. I don't give a fuck. Every but they won. Counts. Yeah. We don't play. That's how much we love the Raiders. Yeah. It's a religion. I love my team. I know they're. What you say the most ruthless fans are? I don't think. What's the most ruthless? I don't mean to be like that. I heard the Eagles are pretty bad. Like Eagles. Fans are pretty ruthless. I heard they don't fuck around over there. Well, I remember they booed Santa Claus one year. They say they do batteries they on the field. Santa Claus and they threw batteries. And they threw batteries at Santa Claus. So I went to um. I think it was. <laughs> so I went. So I I fly, I fly it like. I want oh, to look at something. It's not my first or my last. All right, go, so go. so I I went to a um a Raider and a Bronco game <laughs> in Denver. I'm not a fan of either, but okay, I'm in but Denver. Oh, to check out the, the, yeah, the I want to see yeah. a Denver Bronco game. I'll see. Let me tell you. Wear. They said Rocky I wear and Eagle Sox on that. I hate when people do that. Yeah, but I hate it, when people go to another game and they wear another I, jersey that the team's I agree with you 100%. I agree. I hate that. I agree 100%. Those ones get, Annoying. should get fucked up. They should get fucked up. I should yeah. get fucked up. <laughs> no, but let real. me tell you, the Bronco fans, it's a religion over there. They don't fuck around, dude. Bron Bronco Town at the city shuts down. It's called Bronco Country. And now the first time I've seen Raider fans... On, on some real shit, so shut the fuck Quest up. Field. You went to Questfield then, yes. right? The new, the new well, one. it's in Vesco now. They changed Vesco, the name. I'm old school. I remember Mile, it was, yeah. back in the days they had Mile High, yeah. which is dope. So uh, that was the first time I see like Raider fans like, not shut the fuck up, but not be as aggressive right. over there. It's it was too cold. Like, you're it's flying too cold. out there and you're paying that much. It's too cold, bro. It's too cold, cold, it's too cold. It's too cold. Yeah, they, they weren't, um, it was, but Bronco fans are fucking... It's no, like, somebody asked what like Santa Claus got to do with this. So, somebody dressed up as Santa. There was like a Santa, like a like yes. a silly Santa, like a nice Santa. He had a beard, but they fucking booed him, and they threw batteries at Santa. It was fucking crazy. That's fun, Philly fans are ruthless, man. Yeah. Bronco Raider games, they're right. They're no joke. It's a fierce rivalry. Anybody in our division, we everybody hates him. Chiefs, right? yeah. Think about this. The AFC every, West is ruthless. It is. Rival. AFC West. Think sure. about this, my man. How about every time there's a Raider game out here, or even like when in San Diego, it's like a Raider home game. Also, black hole everywhere. It's black yeah. hole. Yeah. Raider Nation's all over the place. It's going to be like that no matter So they what asked me, um, people want to know if I was going to Ram Raider game because it's preseason this year. I said, I'm not. I said, no, you know what? It's going to be too, like, it's just, it's, weekend, it's too, right? it's too it's this, chaotic. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, just, too much, I'm yeah. good. It, it is too much. I'm like, I'm like, I'm good. And like, it's preseason. Like, it's going to, because in me, like, it just. Momo wants to go. He wants to go. He, wants to, he just wants to go tailgate. We want to go tailgate. Go? Fuck yeah. Maybe tailgate, but not maybe the game. We and the thing is, if I win, I'll go with my Raider homies. All right, that means You're going, Mama? Yeah, Shit. I guess I we're going. I guess we're going. Let's go. Yeah, we're going. No, it's my godson's birthday, so I, I got to be there for a little bit. What time is the birthday over? <laughs> Let's go to He what was supposed birthday to go. Over? Dickie, hey, he'll have another birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody, <laughs> are we done? Awesome. Yeah, I think we're done, yeah, man. Thank you guys done. so much. Love you guys. you guys. All right, thank you, hey. Thank you, subscribers. We appreciate thank you. Thank you, Manny Maldonado, thank for coming you. on Remember, today. You were the only You're amazing. One in we platforms love you. in high school. Okay.